Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Jail Bait and Tackle Outdoors. Uh, this morning, we're going to do another episode of Fish Talk. And as you can see, today's fish that we're going to be talking about is the triple tail. So we're just basically uh, just going to give you all the information that you can see on the screen here. Uh, they also, other names that are go, they go by are drift fish and leaf fish. I have personally never heard that, but, you know, these fish are all over different regions. So uh, the range says both coastal and pelagic in Florida, mostly pelagic in the Bahamas and the Caribbean. The habitat, the triple tail is a true world traveler, drifting with ocean currents and often spotted by dolphin fishermen in weedless or alongside floating debris. Many are found closer to shore in most coastal areas of Florida during warm months and also are, are in larger bays, usually hanging around markers or top floats. So uh, what I will tell you is, uh, yes, these are very, very prevalent during stone crab season in, in our area of southwest Florida. They have the, the floats the, that indicate where the the crab traps are and these fish tend to basically lay up and kind of you know uh nibble or sponge off of um you know the the buoy the styrofoam buoy so that that is you know people often um say that triple tail they kind of lay on their side and, and they people say it looks like a, just a, a floating trash bag so you have to have really good uh, polarized sunglasses to get a good look at, at, at the triple tail. So now we're going to talk about the uh, description. It says deep, somewhat rounded shape gives it the appearance of an oversized panfish. Color varies, but is usually brownish and mottled, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Head is concave above the mouth. Name derives from the similarity and near juxtaposition I probably butchered that word, of the dorsal, caudal, and anal fins resembling three tails. So you can tell right here, these two fins and the tail, that's why it's called a triple tail. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So now that they're talking about the size, uh, most run two to 12 pounds, but the rare catches reach 30 or more. World record, 42 pounds, 5 ounces, and the Florida record is 40 pounds, 13 ounces. Now, once again, this is this information is from an older publication uh, from the, it's called the Sport Fish of Florida. It's from the uh, Florida Sportsman Series, and this has not been in public publication for probably 10 or 12 years. I don't know the exact time period, but this gives you an idea. So uh, the food value, they say it's one of the best, and it really is. It is, oh, it's just, it's awesome to eat. And when, when you catch one of these, it's, it's, it's really a treat. It's, it's excellent table fare. So now the game qualities. Despite its clumsy looks, the triple tail is a good game fish in all respects. It willing, willingly strikes artificial lures, and its fight is characterized by short, frantic runs, and uh, startling jumps. Big ones in deep water are also good at bulldogging. Like cobia, uh, with they frequently share the shade and uh, navigational structure, triple tail are ad adapt at fouling lines. So yeah, they, they you know, like I said, they're gonna be around the, the crab, the crab traps, the crab buoys. So yeah, they can wrap you up in the, in the you know, the down line going to the trap. So now uh, tackle and baits. Casting tackle, fly, plug, or spinning provides the best and most spectacular sport with triple tails, but saltwater outfits with lines up to 30 pound test are not out of place for big fish type places. Yeah, I didn't read that too well. Uh, streamer flies, plastic, and bucktail jigs and, and mirror plugs are among the among the pet lures. Uh, best natural baits are live shrimp and small live fish, strip baits and dead shrimp, 
are also taken. Uh, the I, w I will tell you this with the shrimp, it, it seems like they they don't want the real large shrimp or the the you know the real small shrimp. Basically, like if you look at your index finger, a shrimp about that size works pretty well for them. They I will tell you they're 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 kind of lazy. They don't like to move from from around their the crab pot buoys, so you kind of have to cast. Your shrimp past them, not you know, you don't want to hit it on its nose. Sometimes they're real lazy. You can hit them on the nose, but you kind of want to in, introduce it in front of them. Anyway, the fishing systems: still fishing, drifting, and casting. So that's a little bit about the triple tail. Uh, once again, it's it's easy to you know identify. Like they're saying in here, it does look like a panfish, but they do get pretty big. The last time I checked, I think. The, I don't quote me on this. I think the minimum length on these in state of Florida as of now, if, I, if I'm correct, would be 15 inches. So could be a little, it's 15 or 16, somewhere in there. But they, they do get uh, pretty pretty thick and heavy. But like, like I said, it's excellent table fare. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Fish Talk. And we'll see you on the flip side. Take care and always know your legal limits.